Hey guys, thanks so much for clicking on the video. My name is James Caldwell and I just wanted to come to you guys. There's a, a, another little short story that I have. Um, and this one, actually, I'm thinking this is a time when, I don't know, you guys will probably have fun in the comments with this one. You can attack me or whatever. But this was a time when I probably shouldn't have laughed. But I did. So we'll just deal with that as we deal with it. Okay, so this is what happened. Um, there was this time here and I was actually training for this specific job and it was a customer service based type of job. And what you had to do, we had these tests and the tests consisted of mock calls. So there were like mock calls that would come through and we did them periodically throughout the training. We were told in the beginning, if you do not pass these mock calls, you would be let go. So everybody knew that, you know, but it's different when they're saying it and then when you actually see it happen and you literally watch a person be walked out. Okay, so you kind of see where this is going. Okay, more background. The background part of it was there was a girl who, you know, we, we were okay. You know, we were okay. During the process, we were cool for the most part. And then as it starts, you know, you start to meet people. And as you're going through the process, uh, you know, and it kind of had one of these things. Well, we had this little issue on this Friday where, I don't know, she was just filling her fish for some reason. But something came up about ugly babies or something. And, you know, I, I laughed. And she's like, there's no such thing as ugly babies. And I'm like, okay, this is right around lunchtime or whatever. And I'm like, I don't know where you got that from. There really are ugly babies. They are out there, honey. You, you don't even have to look that far. They're out there. So for whatever reason, that day, she was feeling her fish. She wasn't feeling bad. She ends up calling me a faggot. And I'm like, well, what was that all about? So I'm like, no biggie. You know, it is what it is. Because again, remember, the truth can never hurt you. You know, ain't no big deal. Ain't like she said something that I had never heard. So I was like, I don't know where you're going, but whatever. We're not going to do this. And I'm not going to lose my good wage full of with you, because see, you know, my first was to smack her in her mouth, but I'm like, whatever, it is what it is. So, by the time we got back from lunch, some someone who overheard it had actually coded, gone to the trainers and said, you know what, this is what was said, I didn't really care for it, she had no business even addressing him like that. So, someone, and they wouldn't say who, you know, did not appreciate the fact that she had actually called me out of my name. So, you know, whatever. Who gives a damn? It was it, To me, it was no big deal. But the trainers approached me and said, James, you know, you don't have to take that. We have very strict diversity rules as she can be walked out of here today. Now, I knew that this particular woman had actually left the job to come there. You know, like I said, we had actually been spending time together and I had been helping her because I already had done a lot of customer service. I had been helping her through with some of her stuff, her and another friend of mine um, that I had known from years ago that was training as well. We had been helping her. Um, I said, you know, I, I, I knew that her personal life wasn't all that. Her husband was a little abusive as well, uh, verbally as well as uh, mentally and a little physical. So I just wasn't getting into all that. So I just, I said, you know, I, I'm i not that person that really wants to have that on my back. Let her cancel herself out because I knew she was an absolute fuck up. You know, we had pretty much drug her and walked her through everything we had been through so, thus far. So that was that. Okay. Try not to get too long winded here. So anyway, we're setting it up. So that was Friday. The uh, trainer said, well, it's actually up to you. So, you know, she could be walked out of here. I'm like, nah, mm -mm, let her stay. It's fine. I'm not pressed about it. And the thing is, she told the truth. It's not like I'm not. So that's, who cares? Who gives a shit? Let her cancel herself out. 
So, in my mind, you know, I'm still, I am a mean bitch now. So I said, I'm not helping this whore anymore. She's going to pull her own way. She's going to make it through and do whatever it is she's, that she needs to do. And I knew she was struggling. And the friend of mine that was in training with me that I knew was like, I ain't helping the bitch. You know, because you should have just let them let her go. And I'm like, no, let it be, let it be, let it be. So Wednesday, this happens to be the hardest, they call it a battery test, the hard, hardest test that we had. We had four calls that you had to take, four mock calls, and it basically took all day. You did basically two calls before the lunch period, and then you had two calls after the lunch period. And they would give you one chance to... To rectify, if you missed one of the calls, if you didn't come, if you didn't get enough points, they give you another chance to do it. But the chance would actually be the next day. So there were other people who actually did not uh, reach the goals. Thank goodness I reached the goals. I didn't have that issue. My girlfriend reached the goals. Um, so the next day, basically, we really had like a free time. We were like, they said, read, read your stuff, child. We were shopping. Um, <laughs> doing whatever else we wanted to do. But um, we're sitting there. Wouldn't you know, old girl that likes to call names missed three out of the four calls. Okay? So she had to come in that next day on Thursday and she had to do all the calls. So she was all nervous and all this. So she had fucked up before. And what we would do, we talked to her on the phone and all that the night before. And we didn't do any of that. We we're like, fuck you. You go on and you and your little friends that you know over there, y'all do what y'all do. So she come in the next day. We're sitting there and we're looking like three out of these calls. So she's going to take the calls. She takes the first call. And I basically was, I didn't speak to her. Like, I just didn't speak to her anymore. There was no need. You know, you're a disrespectful bitch. There was no need for me to speak to you. So we're just sitting over there. And I'm watching her. And she finishes the call. Me and my girlfriend look at each other. She finished her first call. It's about 10, because we started about 8. So about 10, about 10, 10, 10, 30 at this point. And she's sitting and she's waiting on the next call. Because you sit there and you wait on this next call to come in. And she's waiting, and she's waiting. And she says, yeah, who that one, that felt really good. I got that, and now I just got two more to do, and I'm, I'm good to go. Well, baby, I'm sitting there, and I look over at the door. <laughs> Child, like I see, see, it's terrible, because there I'm tickled all over again. I know I shouldn't, shouldn't be tickled, but I saw the little uh, shiny badge, honey, the <laughs> security. And they come in, honey, and she's sitting there looking, and the security's given, come with us. Oh, no, no, if I just had another chance, it, and here she goes, they're like, get your purse, honey, get your purse. Now, this went on for about five good minutes, honey. It was just like, no, honey, get your purse, get it. There is no more chances. Purse, you, door, let's go. <laughs> and I said, and now it's been years since when this happened, years ago. And I don't think that I should be tickled, but whatever, I can't help it. it the shit was funny because you're such a nasty bitch and then you fucking canceled yourself out. And it's not to say that even if I helped her that she would have been able to do the calls. But it just was kind of funny to kind of see what happened? And you know, me and my nasty little self, I said, isn't this a good company? Child, when did you ever think that the fag would get to stay? See you, girl. <laughs> she got her purse, honey, and went on out of there. I said, Lord have mercy. So, I know you guys. Whatever y'all have to dish out, I'm going to go ahead and take it because I think I probably shouldn't have laughed. Hell, I got tickled all over again, so whatever. Um, leave your comments in the bottom. I'll take it. I got tough skin. It's no big deal. But it was pretty funny. To, I, I was glad that I didn't say, go ahead and fire her and let her cancel herself. God damn, I didn't think she was going to cancel herself out within the week, but whatever. So, again, just a, another time with some crazy shit. Went on where you say, just when you think you've seen it all, 
Shiny badge, baby. Let's go, girlfriend. Net, net. Get your purse, honey. <laughs> anyway, thumbs up or you can thumbs down the video. Y'all know how that works. Leave the comments in the bottom. Whatever you have to say, I'm going to go ahead and take it. All right, guys. Talk to you later. Bye.